Hey, what's up? It's me, Protective NYC, aka Kid Hazard. You know who it is. Let me stop. Okay, so first off, first off, oh, why are you playing Call of Duty Advanced Gay Fair? Actually, well, take that back. Advanced Warfare, right? So, I just want to nudge people into why they should consider not taking such a negative reaction towards the new Call of Duty. Alright? So, this is just gameplay for filler, right? I'm going to throw some images, and we're going to break it down one by one, all right? So, let's start with this. The story of the new Call of Duty, it starts out with the concept that Earth is running out of resources, that we can no longer live on the planet Earth without doing some type of form of external resources. The U.S. government ended up setting up a treaty using after they managed to, you know, make their space program 100 times better. And this treaty that the U.S., the United Nations, they did was that certain countries will not take more resources than necessary while others don't take other, you know, Pretty much is a resource management program or treaty that the UN has created. Now, as you see here, yes, this is space. Yes, this Call of Duty is going into space. But it won't be the first time Call of Duty went into space. If actually, it was in the previous Black Ops game. Black Ops 1, they did space zombies. And Black Ops 2, they did... Uh, what else did it do? I don't know. But in Black Ops 2, they did something with space. I think it was uh, a mission that you went into space and you had to do a whole campaign thing. Okay. So, let's look at this next pit image. Okay, so. In this image, right, what do we see? We see... A soldier who is holding quite possibly a submachine gun. But what is he wearing? That's the real question. So the biggest issue about the newest Call of Duty was that... Well, it's not even that the, the newest Call of Duty. It's actually the oldest Call of Duty. Well, not the oldest. Advanced Warfare. Sorry, guys. But the biggest issue about Advanced Warfare was why the exosuits? Why all this unnecessary jumping? Why are we flying with limited, you know, restrictions yet we got this OP suit? Why are the maps so small? We're here questioning everything that is happening to us. And this guy you see here, he doesn't have an exosuit. And if it does look like an exosuit, it probably isn't. And primarily the reason why I say it is because exosuits go on the outside of your body. They restrain you, you know, they hold on to your limbs. Alright. So. Oh, that's another thing. Look at this. Look at this. I'm running around with this exosuit ability, invisibility. That's another thing that killed this game. Well, that killed... Infinity War, Treyarch, you know, the Call of Duty series was EXO abilities. I like what they did in Black Ops 3. That was cool, but let's not do that again. Alright. So let's look at this next picture coming up. Alright. And in this picture, I want to go over primarily what we see. And let's break it down a little bit. Alright. Oh, look at that other one. Okay, so, in this picture, right, we see... <sighs> okay, we see a guy. And he has something on his back. Now, this thing in his back, we're going to see this quite often on a lot of soldiers. A spaceship that's hovering above them. It's pretty OP, I ain't gonna lie. 
Uh, there's not much to break down from this. Except for the pack on their back. And maybe the same outfit. Okay. Well, I couldn't break down with that picture too much. It does look real pretty. I like the spaceship. I like the color of the outfit. The color scheme. Alright, we're going to look at the next picture that's coming up. In this picture is going to be something that Infinity Ward said that they want to do that is game-breaking, ground-breaking. And even though they proclaim this, it is actually quite, you know, it's quite common these days now to see a game where it is quote-unquote smoothless transition, no loading screens. So, in here, your cap, your your character is flying a ship to go fight a war in outer space. But this war that is going on is not just you know Star Wars, is not your basic shooter Star Trek related type war. No, this war is based upon the the colonies on the Earth. Who need the resources and whatnot. In the second image that we transition to, you see here, this is a uh, enemy ship getting blown up to pieces. Like, <laughs> oh my god, the Death Star. But yeah. It's beautiful. Okay, so, now, and the next image that you see is going to be a quick quick image. Just going to go over the beauty, the texture, the character real quick. That's all I just want to highlight. There's nothing too specific about this next image. Except for that, they're not wearing exosuits. This is space suits, but not exosuits. So, I guess that's a plus, right? Alright, so, this new Call of Duty, I want to give it a chance, I really do, and let's look at this image, this right here looks real familiar, it looks like that robot that kind of broke your limbs, but then when you break it down, this is just a, a outfit, a uh, how would you call it? You know, camos or... I forgot what they're called. Oh, I'm sorry about that. But this is actually... You can clearly see that it is a human being. I mean, there is no... No robot will have a nose. That's the first thing, people. Okay? But... This is actually pretty gruesome. You're in space, enemy comes at you, you grab him with a pell hook, bring him to you and snap his neck. That's that's uh that's something else. Okay guys, we're almost coming to an end, right? And this next image that you're about to see is going to pretty much highlight my theory that there's no exosuits. This picture takes place in a, I believe, like a space station or a space colony, according to the trailers. And by theory, they were they were, the director, the you know the people that created the game, the developers. They said that they wanted that they actually tested out with real military, you know, military forces. They tested out how the game would work if, you know, you were in space. How would the combat feel? So, this image, I believe that this is just thrusters. Pretty much things to move you along in space with zero gravity simulations. Alright. So, now we're going to return to this last picture. We're going to wrap it up, guys. We're going to wrap it up. 
And in this next picture right here that you guys are about to see, what is this monstrosity? It looks like some type of Metal Gear Solid Rex looking thing. But this is not the first time we've seen something like this. Look in Black Ops 3. We saw a giant robot. Even though it wasn't humanoid. It didn't have legs. It was almost a tank like. We saw a robot. With crazy amount of missiles. In it. So can this be a kill streak? Because it wouldn't be the first time we've seen something like this in previous games. And also look at the Cerberus. It's also like a Cerberus. But with legs. Alright guys. So, this is my first commentary video using images and video. I want you guys to let me know what you guys think about it. You know, leave a description, leave a comment inside the, inside the, eh, inside the comment section. Sorry, guys. Alright. Tell me what you think. Because I personally, I'm going to like this new Call of Duty. The way the graphics are, the way the characters look, the way they're going back to their roots, the way we are... Pretty much, but we're going back. We're finally taking the steps back to being the Call of Duty that we know and love. And as far as the Modern Warfare, it's a douche move what they did. Oh, we're only going to sell you Modern Warfare with the game. But I'm not too angry. Why? Because we all know that their new game wouldn't sell without that Modern Warfare. The series is going through a complete, you know, fan distrust. The fans do not trust the game anymore. The fans don't want to be played. The fans don't... They, won't, they don't want to be disappointed anymore. And it is tragic. It's really tragic how Call of Duty had a beautiful start. Then it listened to the wrong developers and, well, it went downhill from there. But I have a feeling that things are going to get better from here as long as they know what they're doing. And as far as the Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, I don't know if I want that. Why? Modern Warfare 1 is awesome, but how about this? Remake World of War, remake Modern Warfare 2, remake Modern Warfare 3. And when you remake this, put it in the Call of Duty collection. Make it a, uh, a single disc, three campaigns, inside one disc, and put all the multiplayer maps on one disc, one online service, and make this online service connect globally. So instead of hitting 10 prestige in this game over, nah, you're going to hit 10 prestige, 20 prestige, and 30 prestige. Pretty much 10 prestigious for every Call of Duty game as they normally do. But with that being said, people, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment inside the comment section below. Tell me how I did. Tell me how what you want to see more improved from videos like such. And how can I improve the, the quality? Till then, for now, take it easy, people. Alright, peace.